Okay, welcome back. On to part three of creating our CSS layout. I've got my five regions in, uh, including the top, the sixth DIV, the top wrapper. Um, it just looks like this now, very simple. Uh, now it's time to kind of def start defining what these IDs, um, ID tags or ID specifications do, or the CSS. I want to write the CSS that controls um, what this page is going to look like. Okay, so first thing, I've got my CSS style panel open, and I'm going to come down and just uh, click on this button with a plus on it. Let's write a new CSS rule. Okay, so I'm going to click on that, um, and when it first comes up, it kind of recognized where my cursor was, um, uh, but I want to uh, do a couple of things to get started here. I'm going to redefine some tags. First thing I want to do is I want to redefine the body tag because I want to uh, clear all the presets or the defaults, things like margin uh, and any any defaults that the browser is going to do without being instructed to. I'm going to just zero all that stuff out. So I'm just going to uh, select, read, select a tag, choose the body. Now the first time I do this, uh, the first rule that I write I wanted to create a new style sheet file. So there at the bottom, new style sheet file. And when I click OK now, it's going to want to write down um, the specifications for the body. And because I don't have a style sheet file yet, it's going to ask me to, to name and save that CSS file um, before it can write down what I want to, the rule for the body here. So when I, and I only have to do this one time. So I click OK. It says, all right, well, here you're, you're going to write this down. So this is going to be my layout. CSS document and it'll automatically put a dot um, CSS on the end and I want to make sure it gets into the right uh, folder here which is the Aspen Elementary folder. Uh, save that. Okay now all I'm going to do here is go to the box and I want to make sure that I have zeros here um, in the margin and padding and I can kind of see what's going to happen I mean I can kind of test this out if I push apply if you saw that, but the margin and the top and left margin both went away, um, which just sort of clears out all that stuff. I'm also going to set uh, my default font right now. So my font family, I'm going to choose um, Verdana, and if I want to see how that looks, I can click apply, and that text will change right away. Um, I can see that my font size is kind of big, so um, I want to just use uh, EMs here. So I'm going to switch. So I'm going to say I want this to be 1M. Uh, and that's the default size. Now that seems a little big to me, so I think I want my default size to be maybe 0.8 M's. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Um, we can come back and play with that default font size later if we'd like. Uh, the, the, the text color, the black, that's coming up by default, so I don't need to set that. Okay, so that is uh, my definition for the body. I am going to put right now just a background color in um, just kind of a light gray. So as we start putting background images and background colors into these different DIVs, uh, it'll be a little easier to see. Uh, apply that, say OK. All right, so now over here you can see I've got a document called layout.css and there's my first rule that we just defined. What does the body do? Uh, and down in my root folder you can see it, it, it put that layout.css file in here. And these two documents, this HTML and the CSS file, they're now connected. If I look quick here in the code, up at the top, Dreamweaver has written this little bit of code that says, hey, for this HTML document, uh, connect it to this CSS file, which I called layout. All right, and in the new version of Dreamweaver, Though, whenever you open up an HTML file, if it has a CS document that's attached to it, it comes up down here right underneath the uh, display buttons. It comes in as uh, a related file. So I open up the HTML file, the CSS also comes. So I can click on it and I can see there's the, there is the CSS that I've written so far, just the, the simple um, defaults for my body tag. I can switch back to see the source code, which is the HTML. So I can switch between these two, and you may notice that my des design view doesn't change because they're those two documents, the HTML, the source code, and the CSS, together, they're going to create my page or my layout. 
Okay, so I've got the body down there. Now, I to, to be uh, a little safe, I might add HTML to this so the body and the HTML tag have the same instructions or the same rules, uh, but we'll come maybe do that later. All right, so now we can start defining uh, what these div tags do. So the first one is the wrapper. So I'm going to come down here uh, to my little HTML breadcrumb trail, select the div that's been named wrapper. You can see it selects the whole outside because I want to define what that wrapper means. So with that selected, come over to my CSS style panel. I'm going to click the plus button and get a new rule. And because I had that selected in the HTML trail, it names it for me. So it says, hey, we're going to create an ID here called wrapper, and that's going to, and it's going to write it down here on that same CSS document. So I'm going to click OK. All right, now I've already defined what I want the default font to be and the size and the color. So unless I want it something different, I, I, I'm not going to change uh, anything here. I do want a different background, so I'm just going to put a, a white background color in right now. And when I do that and press apply, I can kind of see that come up. Uh, also, here's where I'm going to decide the width of my layout. Remember, this wrapper uh, goes around my five other regions. So I'm going to come down to the box category here and put a width in. So uh, for now, I think I'm just going to go with 800 pixels. And I'm going to zero out all the padding and all the margin and click OK. Now, not much happens there because we can't really see fully what's going on yet. Um, but I can get start getting an, get an idea. My 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 design, my layout is going to be 800 pixels wide, and it's not going to. Oh, I, I'm incorrect here. Over here under margin, what I really want is this 800 pixel wide layout to automatically center itself, and. When, you, when you're centering things in with CSS, you use the margins to do it. So I'm going to just change the right margin to auto and the left margin to auto. That just means it'll, they'll autom those, the left and right margin are going to automatically be set and they'll just automatically be set to be equal, which means that regardless of how wide of browser window my visitor has, this 800 pixel wide block or box will center itself. All right. Let's click OK there. And I'd like to preview it in the browser to just get an idea of how it's looking right now. Um, and you can see there's that, there's that white block, 800 pixels wide. And I've got the uh, left and right margins centering automatically. If this browser size changed a little bit, you can see that that margin just adjusts automatically. Okay, so for now, our wrapper. Um, our wrapper ID has been defined. Uh, let's um, end this uh, part three and we'll continue with this layout in part four.